The generative approach to second language acquisition or what we call SLA is a cognitive-based theory of SLA that applies theoretical insights developed from within generative linguistics to investigate how second languages and dialects are acquired and lost by individuals learning naturalistically or with formal instruction in foreign, second language and lingo franca settings. Central to generative linguistics is the concept of universal grammar, a part of an innate biologically endowed language faculty which refers to knowledge alleged to be common to all human languages. UG includes both invariant principles as well as parameters that allow for variation which place limitations on the form and operations of grammar. Sequently, Research within the generative second language acquisition tradition describes and explains SLA by probing the interplay between universal grammar, knowledge of one's native language, and input from the target language. Research is conducted in syntax, phonology, morphology, phonetics, semantics, and has some relevant applications to pragmatics. In the 1960s, the Generative Transformational Linguistics School emerged thanks to the influence of Noam Chomsky. Chomsky was trying to show that human language cannot be scrutinized simply in terms of observable stimuli and responses or the volumes of raw data collected by field linguists. The generative linguist was interested not only in describing language, but also in reaching an explanatory level of adequacy in the study of language, that is, a basis of principles independent of any particular language for the selection of the descriptively adequate grammar of each language. The first seeds of the generative transformative revolution were planted at the beginning of the 20th century. Ferdinand de Saussure claimed that there was a difference between parole and langue. When we say parole, it is what Skinner called observes and what Chomsky called performance. And on the other hand, langue means, a similar to the concept of competence or our underlying and unobservable linguistic ability. A few decades later, however, descriptive linguists largely chose to ignore the language and study parallel as noted above. The revolution brought about by generative linguistics broke with descriptivist preoccupation with performance and capitalized on the important distinction between the overly observable aspects of language and the hidden levels of meaning and thought that give birth and generate observable linguistic performance. In general, linguist's job is to go beyond mere description of the surface structure of language or what we call the deep structure. To have an input, surface structure is the outward form of a sentence, while deep structure is an abstract representation of a sentence. In conclusion, studying competence reveals the hidden level of meaning and thought that generates the observable performance. Cognitive Psychology The cognitive psychology is theory that is based on the developmental readiness of learner. The Swiss psychologist named Jean Piaget says, When the child is ready to learn, then he can be taught. He learns naturally. This idea can be regarded as a starting point of the cognitivist idea. The psychologist emphasizes the importance of three things. Meaning, knowing, and understanding. Cognitive psychologists asserted that meaning, understanding, and knowing were significant data for psychological study. Instead of focusing rather mechanistically on stimulus-response connections, cognitivists tried to discover psychological principles of organization and functioning. This is according to David Osebel in 1965. 
According to them, learning is a meaningful process of relating new events or items to already existing cognitive concepts, and it is thought to involve internal representations that guide performance. In the case of language acquisition, these representations are based on language system that involves procedure for selecting appropriate vocabulary, grammatical rules, and pragmatic conventions governing language use. Cognitive psychologists like generative linguists sought to discover underlying motivations and deeper structures of human behavior by using a rational approach. When we say rational approach, it treats behavior as purposive. Individuals have goals and make choices intended to achieve their goals. This emphasis on goals and choices contrasts with sociological and psychological approaches that treat behavior as a response to social pressures or inner drives. That is, they free themselves from the strictly empirical study typical of behaviorists and employ the tools of logic, reason, extrapolation, and inference in order to derive explanations for human behavior. Going beyond merely descriptive adequacy to explanatory power took an outmost importance. Language processing in cognitive psychology involves application of knowledge by individuals when speaking, listening, reading, or writing. Language processing enables listeners and readers to build complex meanings from the string of words they hear or write respectively.